Okay, how many FCU channels there is? Well, there are two, like all aircraft redundancies. When one computer fails, the other takes over. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to Okay, let us dive in. The Flight Control Unit or FCU provides us pilots with short-term tactical controls giving us easy access to navigate the aircraft. It is much faster to change the flight parameters using the controls on the glare shield compared to the FMGS. Therefore, below 10,000 feet, this is the time where we use the FCU for quick changes. Besides that, you can engage the autopilots and auto thrust here. Okay, how many FCU channels there is? Well, there are two, like all aircraft redundancies. When one computer fails, the other takes over. So what are the indications when one FCU channel fail? An alert will trigger and the ECAM will show the following message. Cross-check the barometric reference by looking at the settings on the glare shield, the FCU, and also the PFDs. Simple. Now, for the exciting part, what if both channels fail? Okay, let us look at what we have and what we don't have. For starters, when both channels fail, the barometer reference goes to default setting of QNH1013. So if you are below transition level, use the standby altimeter to set the correct setting. Well, now we have the barrel reference at QNH1013. How will it affect us? You guessed it right. The MDA value on the performance page should not be inserted because it will give us the wrong value. So now the pilot monitoring has the job of giving standard callouts for 100 above, minimum, etc. by referring to the ICs. Question, can we still rely on the radio altimeter callouts? What do you think? Well, do comment below if you know the answer. So now the entire glare shield is not working. So the flight directors, both autopilots and auto trust is inoperative. If both failures happen simultaneously, then you will have to adjust the trust. Remember to fly the aircraft first. When it comes to the PFD, you will not get altitude alerts. You will get eyeless deviation displays. The bird will show up for you. You will not have any mark indications and no FMA. No billboard telling you the aircraft status except in land or go around mode. Do check out my videos on A320 FMA. Okay, now we move on to the navigation display, the ND. It will be in Rose Nav mode with 80 nautical miles range displayed. Needle 1 is for VOR1 and Needle 2 is for ADF2. If you are flying at night, it will be tricky because the weather radar image will be lost. Let us have a look at the status page and see what is not available to us. Question, would you reset the FCU in the air? And if so, how would you do it? If you know the answer, well, do comment below.